The championship season is over by the playoffs. I'm not including them because it's a tournament in itself. So I'm going to rank how each championship team has performed this season. I've got the tiers here. Banger. One of the best teams in the league. For them, a banger of a season. W. Good enough. Probably should be happy with the season. Um, just all right. It'll do. Useless. A team that should have done better. And shocking. One of the worst performers in the league and should have done a hell of a lot better. Let's jump straight into things with Middlesbrough. At the start of this season, I thought Middlesbrough might be flirting with playoffs. Carrick still has a positive public opinion, but should they have been closer to the playoffs? I suppose in the end, they did finish eighth. A couple games extra in the season, and they might have ended up pushing closer. For me, Middlesbrough just going, um, they're just all right. They're... Not the best team in the league, not the worst team in the league, but maybe they should have done better. On to Blackburn. One of the biggest teams in England. Yeah, they won a Premier League once. Nah, useless. Uh, last season, they challenged for playoffs, and this season, they were awful. If it wasn't for Sammy Smoddix, they'd have been relegated. Next year, when he goes in the summer, if I was a Blackburn fan, I'd be seriously worried about where we're going to end up. So useless, not quite shocking because they didn't go down, but the year-on-year -year comparison is wild. They should have they should have carried on doing well. Bristol City, oh, the most championship club in the championship at the minute. I feel like at the start of the year, you could have predicted where Bristol were going to finish. For me, it's just useless. Just consistently useless. That... There's no excitement. I actually kind of feel for Bristol City fans because what what's the point in watching? Next season, you're going to finish between 17th and 14th. That's it. Don't even have to watch it. Cardiff. Cardiff can go in. Um, I don't think anyone actually expected them to get playoffs. I don't think anyone expected them to go down. They're just middle of the road. Not too dissimilar to Bristol at the minute. Birmingham City. Oh, I mean, they were in the playoffs at the start of the year. Now look at them. Down to League One. Really, really poor from Birmingham. I think the owners need to be questioned based on their management decisions. It's practically Wayne Rooney that sent them down, really, isn't it? <sighs> Shocking. Shocking year from them. It's just bad all round. And you can have your new stadium on the way, boys, but... It's not going to get filled if you stay in League One. And with the squad you've got and lack of investment in the last few years, I do think it it's not just going to be an easy bounce back up for them. Obviously, relatively new owners will want to get them out and probably spend some money, but it might not be easy. Coventry. Coventry were unlucky last year in the playoffs. And this year, they did flirt with the playoffs for most of the season. I suppose they lost their main striker and they've still got some good players. But for me, Coventry just going... Um, they should have probably got playoffs again with the squad that remained. They didn't. And it's not a bad season, but now if a couple more players leave, it could turn into a bit of a negative time at Coventry. Leeds United, my team, no bias here, I promise. Uh, it's hard to judge for Leeds because with the squad we've got, I'll be honest, we should have been in autos. Ipswich obviously had an absolute blinder of a season and they deserve to be in the Premier League. But Leeds, with the talent that we've got, should have been in automatic. But at the same time, I think we had the highest points tally in the last eight or nine years to not get in the top two. For me, we go in W. It's not been a bad season and I think... It's easy from the outside looking in to say, oh, well, it should have been better. But we did lose half of our squad. Like Most of the players that we had that were regular starters in the Premier League had contract clauses, which meant they all went out on loan. Admittedly, we replaced them with good replacements. But yeah, it's just the W. Queen's Park Rangers, the team, one of the teams that ruined our dreams, beating us 4-0 at the end of the season. I think for QPR to stay up is quite an achievement. The squad isn't amazing. They've had some troubles with managers throughout the years. For me, this season is just an EM for them. Uh, certainly not useless, but I wouldn't call it a W either. There's, there's worse teams in the league and teams you'd expect to do worse. So they can end up in the middle. Southampton, similar to Leeds, you expect them to get top two or that will have been their target at the start of the year. And they've been, been very hit and miss Southampton. Went on that unbelievable run. I think it was 20 games unbeaten to then just drop off. Uh, it's really hard for me, Southampton are just below Leeds. We'll put them at the top of EM. 
it's not a bad season. Finishing fourth in this year's championship is actually a lot of seasons they'd have gone up with that points tally. But with the squad they have, I know James Ward Prowse left. They lost a couple of players, but when you've got Walker Peters, when you've got Armstrong, Che Adams in the championship, your your target is definitely going to be top two. And they missed out on that by two places. So yeah. Um, stuck. Useless. What what's the point of Stoke nowadays? Parachute payments are done. Squad is mid. I predict in the next five years, Stoke go down to League One. Fans are going to get bored. Attendances will continue dropping. Stoke, nah, they're not going to be in the championship for that long. I just don't see it. Watford, the end of their parachute payments isn't too far away now, but they kind of performed exactly how I expected them to. Their squad is not better than any of those in the top six. I suppose the aspirations for the club will be more. They've spent a lot of time in the Premier League in the last decade. In and of itself, them finishing 15th is pretty poor. It is pretty poor, isn't it? Useless. It is useless from Watford. Given the talent around the team. It's management issues though. How many managers can that team go through? You can't expect championship performance unless you've just come down with a pretty... I'd say it's, it's a top eight squad, but with three managers a season. It's never going to work, is it, boys? Ipswich, you know what? For Ipswich this year, absolute banger. Who'd have thought it? I mean, I certainly didn't. If you'd have asked me at the start of this season, I wouldn't have predicted Ipswich to go up. I have done a video on their rise from League One all the way to the Premier League. Go check that out. And please remember, if you're a championship or just a football fan in general, hit like, hit subscribe. We post a hell of a lot of football content and a video every single day this month. Ipswich, one of the best championship seasons and stories in EFL history, in my opinion. They deserve to be in the Premier League. They might have beaten Leeds to it, but that doesn't matter. That's because they are the better team and have been the better team throughout the season. Well done to Ipswich. Banger of a season. Huddersfield, dogs, shocking. League one, enjoy it, boys. I'm a Leeds fan, and I'm actually quite happy that Sheffield Wednesday stayed up above Huddersfield because they just have a nothing fan base and... A pretty fake rivalry with Leeds, to be honest. There's many teams I dislike over Huddersfield. Paul City, who just got rid of their Manager of the Year nominee, Liam Rosanier. Uh, I think they're going in. Um, people would probably say that it's useless because of the signings that they got, especially the January signings, but it's not been a useless year for them, has it? Just missing out on the playoffs, taking it all the way to the last day. In the recent years, a lot of ownership changes, a lot of problems around the club, a lot of restructures of practically the whole squad. They just keep getting rid of everyone and bringing in new players. So I think it's been a pretty good season for Hull. And the fact that they've gotten rid of the manager is, is a shame overall. Millwall, useless. Just pointless, isn't it? 13th. Millwall should stay a championship club forever. None of us really want to see him in the Premier League other than maybe for the West Ham match. The championship, probably not League One, but they'll just stay there forever. Useless. Norwich, ultimate yo-yo club. I think it's been a W for them. Getting into the playoffs was probably their target. Automatics was never a realistic prospect. So... If you're an Orange fan, you're probably quite happy now. Sunderland is a little bit harder because there was whispers of them in the first 10, 15 matches. Can they make it into the playoffs? And then their drop-off in the second half of the season has been something to be studied in future years because it was epic, literally. I don't know what happened to Sunderland, but it went very wrong. So I'm going to put them in... Oh, is it shocking or useless? I'm going to put them in shocking, actually, because... What what changed to make things go from fighting for top six to 16th in the championship? Maybe aspirations were too high at the start of the year, but it's pretty poor from them. Leicester, Leicester obviously win the league, but it was a lot closer than I think they would have wanted it to be. And that's due to periods of poor form and inconsistency from Leicester themselves. They have the best squad the championship has seen in at least the last couple of years. They should have won the league by even more. For me, it's just a dub for Leicester. I'll put them above Leeds and Norwich because I think it's a pretty big dub still to win the league in a very, very tough championship promotion race. But I think they probably should have done better. Arrogance got the best of them in moments, I would say. Plymouth. You know, Plymouth for me, dub. 
to come up, to stay up, smart player signings, great fan base who follow them all around the country, some of the best fans I've seen at Edinburgh Road this season. I think it's a big dub for them to stay up and it's quite nice to see them in the championship. I hope they can stay up. They probably won't manage to keep a hold of Morgan Whitaker, who is an absolute baller, but it has been a W of a season from Plymouth. Preston, on the other hand, Preston feel like a team who have just been there to trouble the top six as they're trying to fight for those positions. I think they've got results against Leeds, Leicester and Southampton at points throughout the season. I know they certainly did against Leeds, but it's just been... Um, never really challenged for playoffs. Never flirted with relegation. Just standard from Preston. I wonder I wonder what it would take for pre- for any of these teams in EM, actually, bar Southampton. I wonder what it would take for them to like jump above any teams that get relegated. I don't think Sheffield United will do too well next year. Preston, QPR, Coventry, Cardiff, Middlesbrough. Again, I won't really hear it for them being in playoff spots next season. Let me know what you think. Where do you think some of those teams will finish? Rotherham, shocking, awful all year, but you expected it. Just really, really poor. Uh, On to a counterpart who looked like they were going down for the majority of the season, and that is Sheffield Wednesday. This is a controversial one. Sheffield Wednesday for me, banger. Everyone predicted them to go down. After getting promoted from League One, they part ways with the manager that had a magical playoff journey. And you think, oh shit, bring in a manager who performs horribly for the start of the season, but he didn't even really perform horribly. He performs to how we expect that squad to do. Old players, Barry Bannon on about £700 million a week, who is actually all right. I won't insult him. He's had, he is good. He's the best player. Danny Roll has done an unthinkably good job for Sheffield Wednesday. When he came in, previous assistant manager at Germany, I think previous assistant manager at Bayern Munich as well. Great experience. How Chanziri persuaded him to join the shit show of Sheffield Wednesday, I will never know. That man is an absolute clown. He was asking fans to pay the tax bill earlier in the year. Sheffield Wednesday has been a banger. The second half of the season for them, they need to get on their knees and thank Danny Rowe with all their heart. Because if he leaves, which he should... They're fucked next year. In fact, it wouldn't even surprise me if Sheffield Wednesday, unless they somehow get new owners and no one's going to take a hold of that club, the stadium needs a whole repair, they're practically rebuilding, they're in a load of debt, they're losing money every season, and they stayed up by the skin of the teeth this year. Players out of contract, the players that are still in contract are old and finished and tattered. Whoa. Banger of a season, though. Well done, Sheffield Wednesday. Let's crack on with the last two. Swansea, um, it's just Swansea, mid-table. It'll be the same next year. Big ups to Pablo Hernandez, an absolute legend. He is somewhere in here. Tell me your favourite match attack. Take a screenshot. Tell me your favourite player that's in the, uh, the magical match attack display. Last team, West Brom. West Brom, it's been a W. Carlos Corbron has done an incredible job with that team. Not a huge amount of investment, but his style of football has meant that they end up in the playoffs. And if they don't get promoted, I can see them challenging again next year. and Maybe even challenging for automatics because it's about the style of play, not the players in the squad. A little bit of investment, add some extra talent to that style of play. I think they'll do well. And I think they have done well. I think it's been a banger of a season. So that's it. That's the tier list. Let me, let me quickly reorder it. So we'll do the end is like, the worst. So Rotherham, yeah. Sunderland haven't been the worst. They can be at the top of shocking. Birmingham can be in the... No, in fact, Birmingham can be the most shocking. And then, yeah, useless, I don't really care about. Um, Yeah, Southampton at the top. I think Hull can go at the top because it was so close to being a very, very good season for them. The rest... Yeah, I'll put I'll swap them round. I think QPR deserve to be a little bit higher. W, big dub for Leicester won the league. Leeds, still a great performance throughout the season. Norwich, yes. Plymouth, staying up, deserved to be in there. West Brom, getting in the playoffs without much investment. 
Ipswich Town, the biggest banger of the season, undoubtedly. And Sheffield Wednesday, well, to be fair, I wish I could just put a picture of Danny Roll there because it's Danny Roll, it's not Sheffield Wednesday. And when he leaves, it's game over for them. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the tier list. Let me know what you think I've got wrong. Go in the comments, give me some abuse and say, I cannot believe that Southampton are in um, I cannot believe that you're classing Blackburn as useless despite him staying up. Tell me your thoughts and please, please remember to like and subscribe. I appreciate your time watching the video and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.